Right, I'm in the orchard today. It's uh, second week of January and we're digging a pond. I thought this would be an interesting opportunity to just look at the orchard from a slightly different perspective. And um, uh, I'm going to take a few steps back and then we'll have a look at what we're doing and I'll show you something interesting. What's well, all interesting? This uh, orientation. This is the um, oval spinny. Over there's the basket making cups. The willow is. That way is the uh, peri pear orchard. That's the general direction of uh, uh, our main orchard buildings. Uh, the side of house, the apple store. There are the plums, which sadly are dying. That's another story for another day. Abandoned beehive. We think there's some wild bees in there. This is, uh, looks like a pile of rubbish. In fact, this is uh, deliberately created um, uh, bee and other invertebrate habitat. And here's the pond we're digging. We've been uh, working on this for a little while now. And uh, I just thought it was an interesting opportunity to make a few points about the, um, the soil. Now, we've got some reasonably okay topsoil here. It's not very good. Um, we have been pulling stones out of it. And my goodness gracious me. This is a sort of number of stones that we've been finding here. And they're clumped up. So that little corner just there, almost all stones. Down here, almost all stones. And they're big stones too. Um, I don't know much geology, but goodness gracious, they're all so rounded. These must presumably have been tumbled in water, whether sea or other at some stage. And we've collected a huge amount. We're going to use this as part of a water feature. And Julie, if you wanted to take the uh, camera for a little while. Get back down here. Um, I'm planning to put up a few videos about this. As I've said before, I don't have much to say about uh, the planting and cultivation and management of apple, pear and plum trees that I haven't already said two or three times. So I don't want to keep repeating myself. Um, but, you know, this is now becoming... You know, we've changed over time, the orchard's changed over time, this channel's changing and instead of, sort of how to do stuff that I've put up um, in the past, not saying I won't do any of that again, this is going to be more of an orchard diary. People around the world have become now friends, you know, international friends of the orchard, and just some of what we're doing. And a big enough orchard should probably have a wildlife pond. You certainly should have uh, wildlife areas. And this is interesting what I'm digging here. This is amazing. Um, in one or two of the videos in the past, I've said it's quite sandy here. Look, I'm about two feet down. Look at that, if you will. This is pure sand. Pure sand. There's a couple of, and, and there is some clay as well. I think you can see that's clay. So it's clay and sand mixed in together, and a huge amount of stone. And uh, these are all the points I've said about the, our, our land not being really good. You know, the great John Seymour. Uh, you see, if you give a man an acre of desert, he'll turn it into paradise. If you give a man an acre, rent a man an acre of paradise, he'll turn it into a desert. I don't think that's quite true. All souls can be improved, depending on how much money you want to spend, how much effort you want to go to. But, you know, people like us, you know, if you are going to be able to buy a piece of land, you're probably going to have to get the piece that comes up near where you live, that you can afford, and then make the best of it. And it's very bitty around here. I mean, even within this area here, which is about four metres by three metres, we found heavy concentrations of this, this sort of stone, you know, stone as big as an ox's kidney. Um, huge, great stones, really thick stones. We found clay and we found um, a lot of sand. Now, sand does not retain moisture and it does not contain any nutrient. If you plant uh, any fruit, any fruit bearing plant in pure sand, it's not going to do very well unless you manage it sort of hydroponically. Um, so, anyway, part of our reason why. It hasn't worked out quite as well as we might like to have done. Some of the trees just haven't grown. Some parts of the orchard trees have grown very well, other parts haven't grown very well. And I've always thought that this was because of very variable soil, even within a few yards. And now digging this hole, I've just proved that that is the case. We've got clay, stone, half decent topsoil and sand, all within a small area like this. Anyway, I should put a few more videos up over the year, hopefully as we uh, complete this uh, wildlife pond.